Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Bald Metal Nerd coming at you with a video. Um, this one's going to be about uh, basic. This ties into my last video where I talked about uh, going to the library for, um, you know, to check out some CDs and my experiences with that. So basically, I'm going to be talking about things in a limited menu style. Uh, choice, you know, something like a record store or a library or other physical location where you're, you have choices as far as to what to engage in, but they're not infinite. Like on the internet, it's, it's absolutely infinite. Um, there was actually, there have been studies on this. There was something called, there was a book written called The Paradox of Choice, basically, that having some choices is great. It's essential. But too much choice paralyzes us. Um, and the same can be said, you know, about music consumption as well. Literally, no one has time to listen to all of the music that's coming out. Nobody does. There's more music produced than what any living human being can keep up with. It's just, it's even if you did nothing but listen to music 24-7, you still wouldn't hear it all. It would be physically impossible to do it. So with the internet, now obviously all of that music is available to you all the time. And sometimes it can be extremely hard to choose out of that great sea of choice. I mean, it's an infinite sea. And, um, you know, picking something out of there can be really a daunting task if you don't really know what you're looking for. Uh, the same can be said, you know, of Amazon.com, right, as like a record store. They have literally everything, you know, uh, which is great and terrible at the same time. So it's one of those, uh, you know, limited versus uh, catered experiences. Uh, if you go into a physical location, like a record store or, or, or library or where else, ever else you can hear music, you can look at choices, um, you know, and see, see things that might interest you. It, it's a much smaller scope or much smaller net. And basically, people in general are happy if they have some choice. Like, I'm always happy to go into a record store or whatever and look around at their things they have on offer, uh, the types of music that I like, see what they got. And uh, very often, of course, if they have something in a reasonable cost, I'm going to walk out with something <laughs> almost every time, uh, you know, just because it's enjoyable. Whereas with, say, Amazon, for example, I can fill up my back catalog of pretty much everything, but do I always do it? No, because it's like, if I start doing that, I'm going to spend a ridiculous sum of money that I can't possibly afford. Um, you know, so it kind of stops me. Like, you know, it's a lot easier for me to pick out, say, two or three albums uh, from a stack of, say, you know, uh, I don't know, let's say a hundred selections that I'm looking at. It's a lot easier to pick out two or three that I really want versus picking two or three out of, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands. You, you see the point that I'm trying to make here. So it's like, I definitely appreciate the internet. There's no doubt that I appreciate it, but it's definitely, you know, there are upsides, at least to me, for doing kind of the more limited choice uh, type of things. Um, now, as far as music listening goes, of course, the same kind of applies. You can go on YouTube and listen to literally anything. Anything that's musical, it's going to be there pretty much. Um, you know, and, and who has time to listen to everything? Nobody does. Now, it's great if you're looking for something real specific and you want to go there. You know exactly what you're looking for. Sometimes the stuff it shows is relevant. Sometimes it's not. You know the stuff that's related. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it isn't. So it's like again searching through a needle, a needle through a haystack. It's part of the joy of discovery. I do like both approach. You know versus 
I guess, having a music collection, you know, and picking something out. It's a lot easier to find exactly something that maybe matches your mood in your music collection than on YouTube. Just saying, you know, this is just really, which do you, uh, you know, both have, I guess, both really have their place in the world. They're both worthwhile. I'm glad they're both around. I, I certainly wouldn't want to go back to the old way where all we had was really limited choices and, you know, uh, you couldn't find a lot of stuff. I wouldn't really want to go back to the old way. I definitely appreciate the internet. I definitely appreciate what it's brought. But there is something to be said for some limited choice. Uh, and if there's a way we could replicate that on the internet, that would be amazing. Anyway, um, <laughs> thanks for listening to this. If you guys did enjoy this, as always, please, thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.